This featherweight bout features Victor Gary. He's 24 years of age, five foot nine, 145 pounds, against Tyrion Hutchings, age 30, five foot 10, 140. Both very tall competitors for this weight class. Hutchings with a five pound weight difference. He missed weight under, he's five pounds underweight. He's certainly something that could pay dividends. He might be a 135 pounder with that five foot tuck. Or, or maybe with that, that extra weight he doesn't have, he's gonna be light. And we're gonna make this bout official with our announcer, Michael Hans. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the APFC featherweight division, sponsored by Limitless and Smiles CBD. Thank you to the Milwaukee PD for being in attendance and for supporting APFC. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and officially weighed in 144, one half pounds. He comes in tonight with a record, one victory, no defeats. Fighting out of Montgomery, Illinois, Victor the Constrictor Aguirre. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black and white, he stands five feet ten inches tall. Official weight, 139 pounds. He steps into the cage tonight to make his debut. Fighting out of Galesburg, Illinois, Taryn Hutchings. And your referee in charge, Tom DeVellis. Both fighters meet a center. We have got a Gary in the blue and white trunks. And on the other side, we got Teron Hutchings in the CRNR black and white board shorts. Touch of gloves ball. Both fighters meet center cage. No touch of gloves. Gary looking very, very calm, coming forward, throwing that right hand out there. I really just feel like he's kind of gauging distance so he can get in there and get the grappling exchange. Get some down body locks right down to his back here. Landing yeah. right in half control. Hutchins is holding on to the head. Full but mount is a Gary. A Gary raining down right hands here from the top. I love that gift wrap position where he has his wrist locked behind the head here. It's going to leave that right side of Hutchins open for some maybe heavy shots here, as we can see. And now on the back. Here. Hutchins in force. He can do nothing but give him the back. And we have got a Gary with the tight vertical choke. I think Hutchins is going to ride out that, on a shield. That is that is tight. Um, we can see the see right. that gear. I think just, yeah, Hutchins is riding out. He's out. He's, he's out. He's, he's out. out. He's out. Tight squeeze by Hutchins. Hutchins by a gear. Excuse me, Hutchins doing the admirable thing. They say, hey, I'm, as you said, I'm going to go out on my shield. Um, I don't know how I feel about that logic. Sometimes I feel like it's hey, it's better to fight another day, right? Yeah. Um, you get in a position like that. Well, when you, when you're, I, I think Hutchins, what he needs to kind of understand is you actually have to be in a gym if you're going to fight. You have to train with actual fighters to take a fight. Yes. Here we go on the replay. We're going to see a Geary march forward, throw that right hand, testing the waters just to kind of close the distance. Then he constricts, as, as his nickname states, gets him to his back with the body lock, lands in half, half control, and Hutchins just kind of gives him the back here after a few shots. Right here, we have Aguirre sinking the choke in. At that point, that's tight, man. That's all she wrote. Hutchinson trying to fight hands, trying to look for hands. He's looking on the wrong side here, and that's what you alluded to, right? Getting in the gym, knowing the position, and getting coaches. Understanding you know your to... weight as well. He's uh, five pounds underweight. You know, he could probably have made 125, mm -hmm. technically speaking. Um, you know, hopefully he can take this and learn a lesson from it, but he definitely should be training somewhere before he takes another fight. Yes, for sure. But hey, experience nonetheless. Um, not the kind of experience you want to look for, but you know, he can either take what he can take from this and move forward and do the right things, or if he continues doing what he's doing, we're going to continue seeing the same results. Only time will tell. And yeah, we're going to send to a ring announcer, Michael Hansen, to make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee, Tom DeVellis, has called the stop of the contest at one minute, one second of round number one for the winner by submission via rear naked choke. Victor, the Constrictor Aguirre!